another Destiny 2 live stream. Again, we're seeing where Zor is and what he's got for sale. Plus a bit of news and events going on within Destiny. Now, if you're new to the game, he's on the EDZ. And if my game will catch up. A little bit of lag there, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know what was going on. Okay, so we're on Winding Cove, as you've just seen there. And you will land just here. And we're going to run across to here and jump up the cliff. Okay, so we're going to go across over here. Yes, if you're a long-term player, you already know all this. But I do get a lot of new players saying, well, you need to show me where to spawn in and stuff. And, you know, where is this location? So, you know, you've got to cater to sort of everybody, haven't you? Speaking of new players, bit of Destiny news that's sort of interesting. I've been getting a few questions regarding Game Pass for Xbox and PC and the game. Now, let's try and clear that up a little bit. Okay, so... It comes to Xbox console Game Pass in September. Okay, so that's when your consoles are going to get it, it's September. But PC Game Pass, you guys are not going to get it till 2021, just so you know. So you, you guys have got to, got to wait quite a while for that one. It's not coming day and date at the same time as the console. You know, I could have gone the other way through the tunnel, it's just habit. There's an easy way, guys, you go through this tunnel here to get to it. But I always go this way. So, so yeah, that's what's happening with Game Pass. As for the expansions, the major expansions, yes, they're coming to Game Pass. But your seasons that you have to buy, no, you would still have to buy those individually. So the smaller ones, you're still going to have to buy. So I hope that clears it up. And yes, Xbox have got the marketing to the game now. So you're going to see it advertised for Xbox rather than PSN. And if you look at their website, you'll notice that PSN is now not like at the top slot. It's now Xbox at the top slot. So it's all changed around. Okay, so what has Zor got? Now we've got that out of the way. I mean, other than that, there's not a lot happening in Destiny between now and well, the next update that's been delayed. So, yeah. Okay, what has he got? Not bad, actually. Let's have a look at some of these then. Telesto. This is a very old rifle, but it's very good. Look at the impact on that one. Projectiles attach and detonate. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty good. You sort of, as long as you sort of fire it in the right direction, they will attach and explode, causing area damage. So, pretty good gun. If you've not got it, probably would add that one to your collection. That's not a bad one at all. So, that's, that's pretty much, yeah, buy it if you've got spare shards. It's not, not bad. Let's have a look at it. Telesto. There you go. There's Telesto. We got anything? I don't think we've got any cosmetic. Oh, we have got a cosmetic to show you. There you go. Let's preview the cosmetic. That's what it looks like with the cosmetic on it. Next up, we have Aeon Swifts. Now, I've just seen a stat on these. That was really good. Oof. Aeon Swifts are a no, okay, to purchase. But look at the roll on those. Total 66. If that was on something else, something useful, that'd be really good. That's really high. But, unfortunately, A and Swifts aren't very good. No one likes them. Dodging grants the following to nearby Aeon cultist allies. Grenade energy to warlocks. Melee energy to titans. Dodge energy to hunters. So, basically, you like the medic if you wear these. Not, not very good. So, don't buy them. Real shame that's not on something else. That's stat. But still, never mind. Moving on. These are good. I like these. Lion Ramparts. 62. Yeah, see what I mean? Not as high as the previous one. Uh, provides additional aerial maneuverability, enables accurate hit fire while you're in the air during lift. The maneuverability is the part that sells these. They really are very, very good. If you're struggling to do some of the jumps, I mean, like on Whisper, if you've done the Whisper um, secret quest to get the gun, you know, there's quite a lot of jumping in that. And some of it is tricky, in my opinion. These are brilliant for that. So I would recommend these if you're struggling with jumping on your Titan. They're very, very, very good for that. I use them myself, so I would buy them. Roll could be better, but never mind. They are there. They are what they are. Uh, Ophidian Aspect. He's had these quite a lot, actually, for the Warlock. Weapons ready and reload very quickly. Melee range is extended. The best thing about these gauntlets is the look of them. I mean, check that out. They're a nice looking glove, but they're not that good. You know, they're not really 
sort of brilliant. I don't think I've got a cosmetic to show you on these. No, I haven't. That's a shame. So I wouldn't buy these unless you want them to look at because they're a nice thing. We got the so a quick look. So if I've got a a lot of people ask me about the uh, the aesthetics of them and if I could show off something, but I haven't got an ornament for those either. So the answer is no, I can't. Um, and that's it. So we've got a buy the gun. This is if you've got the spare shards, of course. Don't buy the really good high rolling swifts. Do buy the lion ramparts and maybe for those because they look cool. But they're a bit useless. I mean, you know, there's way better exotics for actual practicality with a warlock. And then, of course, see if you've got any ticks outstanding to collect on this little setup here. If you've not got ticks somewhere, it's worth a go. That's it. That's where he's at. That's what he's selling. That's the bit of info regarding Game Pass. Hope that was helpful to you. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you again at the same time next week. Bye for now.